Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing and DIY content. And today is all about upcycling tin cans. I've made a couple of these videos. You guys love them. So here's some more. And I want to thank Cut That Design for sponsoring today's video. It's a website chock full of downloadable free graphics. I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, let's get started. I always save my big coffee tins and my small tin cans out of the recycling bin because you can turn them into beautiful smashed cans or wall pockets. The first thing that you want to do is you want to remove the bottom out of the tin cans and make sure you have a tin can that the bottom can come out with a can opener because some of them can't. I also really love this can opener because it leaves a nice smooth edge after it's cut. I know a lot of coffee companies have switched to the plastic containers, but we still have the tin ones here in Canada. They work perfectly for this project. I've got a couple other videos that I've done on upcycling tin cans. I'll put those down in the description and you can check those out after you've watched this one. We are ready to smash these tin cans. I'm fortunate, I have a vice. My husband is a mechanic, so I can sneak out into his garage and use his, and it works perfect for this. If you don't have a vice, that's okay. You can use your hands and a rubber mallet and just take a little bit of extra time and squeeze those ends together. Make sure when you are squeezing them together that you have the seam at the back of your project. These coffee canisters also have a little bit of a lip at the top and you wanna make sure you're using that at the opening of your tin can when you're squeezing it together. I have all three tin cans ready to be made pretty. I like to spray my tin cans with a spray primer. If you don't, I find that over time, the rust will leach through. This just seals it up nice. First project, we're going to decoupage some fabric. This was an old tea towel that I picked up at the thrift store for 50 cents. Had a few little holes in it and it was stained. It's going to work perfect for this project. I'm cutting off the bottom of this tea towel because I like the little flower and heart border and it fits perfect on this tin can. I am using my Mod Podge mat and I'm going to put a generous amount over that whole tin can. Once I have the front covered, I'm gonna place that fabric on it and then just kind of squish it into all those ribs in the tin can and make sure there's no little bubbles or wrinkles. Once I have it nice and flat, I'm going to apply another coat of that Mod Podge over top of the fabric. And once I have that covered, I'm going to do the same process on the back of the tin can. I made sure the fabric was a little bit taller than the tin can. I'm just gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge around the inside of the rim and then fold that fabric in and make sure it gives a nice neat edge. I have a square piece of pine that I stained and I'm gonna attach this tin can now that it's completely dry onto it. I've drilled a hole in the back of that tin can and we're going to attach it with just a little screw. I'm gonna fill the tin can up with some moss that I picked up at the dollar store and add in some faux floral picks and it is adorable. I like that it's on a block of wood and you can set it on a shelf or on a table and it'll stand up on its own and it displays beautifully. Next project, we're gonna use one of those coffee canisters. The primer is all completely dried and I painted it with a couple coats of my homemade chalk paint and now I'm drilling a couple holes in the back of that tin can. I had this old shovel handle that was broken laying around forever. We're going to incorporate that into this project. I'm going to apply some graphics onto this tin can with my homemade napkins. I love using this technique. I got a full tutorial on how to do it. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to make some of these for yourself. I've attached one ply of a napkin to a computer paper. I'm putting it in my printer and we're printing directly on that napkin and it's ready to use on our project. We're gonna lay down that plastic sleeve and then cut our napkin away from that piece of computer paper. And that's how easy you can create your own custom napkins for your DIY projects. We're gonna place our napkin facing good side down on the plastic sleeve and I have a little dish of water and I'm just sprinkling the water over the top of the napkin until it's completely wet. And then I'm gonna take my fingers and just gently work out any little bubbles or wrinkles and make sure the napkin is lying nice and flat. 
I like to create a ragged edge around my napkin. I'm just using the edge of my scissors and I'm going all around that napkin. And then when you put it on your project, it just helps it blend in better. I'm gonna use my Mod Podge mat and I'm putting just a light amount over the top of that tin can. And then we're going to pick up that plastic sleeve and make sure it's exactly where you want it and place it on the tin can. This is a really great decoupaging trick to eliminate a lot of bubbles and a lot of wrinkles, and it's so easy to do. You just carefully pull away that plastic sleeve after you have it all pressed down, and you'll be left with a beautiful graphic. After I have it placed on my project, I like to take a little bit of cling wrap or saran wrap and just use that to press the napkin right in all those little ridges and if you're trying to use your fingers, sometimes you can rip it and tear it. And I find using the cling wrap or the saran wrap really helps eliminate that. Now I know why I saved that broken handle from that shovel. It's perfect for this project. I've drilled the two holes in the back and I'm gonna use some little screws and attach it to that shovel. And I'm putting in some coffee filters in the bottom because we're gonna fill this up with some dirt and we want it to have drainage, but we don't want all the dirt to run out. And this is gonna be kept outside. I gave it a couple really good coats of polyacrylic sealer in the outdoor formula and filled it full of some annuals and I think it's adorable. A fantastic way to upcycle not only a tin can but also a broken handle from a shovel. I saw this spray paint at Home Depot and I absolutely love the color. I knew I had to use it on this tin can. All the graphics that I'm using today are from the website Cut That Design. It's a site loaded with free cutting files for hobby crafters with over 1,000 free SVG, DXF, EPS, and PNG files, and they're always adding more. It's a site where you can find a vast collection of free cutting files for your personal use. And if you wanna use them for a commercial, they have that option also. I love their SVG bundles and they all can be used with a Cricut, a Silhouette or any other SVG cutting machine. They also have lots of great tutorials to guide you along if you wish to download your files. The best part is all these graphics are free and I'll put a link down in the description to the site and you can head over and check it out after you watch this video. I love this graphic that I found on Cut That Design and I am going to use my Cricut and cut it out to apply it to my tin can. I've drilled a hole in each end of this tin can. We're ready to put the graphic on it. I'm using a permanent vinyl and I've put it on the transfer paper and now we're going to transfer it onto the tin can. Now I'm gonna seal this up with an outdoor polyacrylic sealer because this is gonna go out on my porch. And I've got a piece of wire and I'm just using a screwdriver to make it have a little twirl in it and I'm gonna attach it to the sides of the tin can. Now when we squeeze those tin cans together, you can never get them sealed completely. So when you're putting the coffee filters in, it just prevents it when you're watering your plant that the dirt doesn't wash through the bottom. We're gonna fill it up with some of my annuals and I just love that pop of blue with that beautiful graphic from Cut That Design. I have so many ideas of things that you can do with these smash tins. I could make hundreds of them. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and if you want to support my channel make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.